Hello everyone, Mr. John here from Air Team Institute with this week's Thursday Tidbit where we're going to be doing a follow-up of last week's video talking about fair cake cutting. So, quick little review, what is cake cutting in the first place? Well, this is dealing with the question of how do we divide a cake or a piece of land or resources, things like that there. And of course, our main question is, how can we do this fairly? And this whole idea of what does fair mean, what does equal pieces mean, those are all things that we talked a little bit more about in last week's video, so you can review that if you'd like, but we'll touch on them and answer some questions quick this week as well. Now, for the envy freeness of this this is one of our ways of talking about equal pieces so a cake cutting is called envy free if no person would prefer another person's piece over their own we don't want to look at somebody else's piece and say i wish i would have that piece instead and as we'll see today right it is important that we don't have a uniform cake, right? This isn't like a geometry problem of how do I divide a shape into equal pieces. It's what if people want different things, how do we deal with those as well? Now, two person, we had this pretty simple algorithm there. So person A divides the cake into two pieces. So person A says, okay, we're cutting it like this here. And then of course, person B can be the one to choose this there. This is very simple with two people. It's envy free, but still some interesting things happen. And that's what we're going to explore here with our first question introduced last week. So we introduced this cake that's half apricot and half blueberry. So apric apricot on the left, blueberry on the right. And Person A loves apricot and hates blueberry. B loves blueberry and hates apricot. So really this is kind of saying, well, A wants to eat the apricot. They don't want to eat the blueberry. They have no value of that blueberry and vice versa for the other person. Now, let's talk a little bit here about the divide and choose method for splitting up this cake. Remember that A wants to split the, the cake into two pieces there. And A likes apricot. So if all things being equal, right, they want to try to do this and make sure that B cannot mess them up, right, A is going to want to ensure that when they cut the cake, there will be equal amounts of apricot on both sides. So they would make a cut like this there, right? So this is A's cut. And the reason for that is A doesn't care which side they pick in that case. So then B could come along, B could choose one of the sides, right? So maybe B comes along and then B says, I want the bottom. So then B gets the bottom half, A gets the top half there. This is envy free. They both actually ended up with, right, what they want. They have half of what they didn't want, things like that there. There's no issues with the envy freeness there. Now, what is the kind of weirdness that happens in this case, right? This is how divide and, and choose should work in this scenario, right? A doesn't know what B wants, B doesn't know what A wants, they're not working together, maybe they're trying to mess up each other. So A says, okay, I'll divide the apricot piece in half, so whatever, a, whatever B picks, I get half of my apricot. I'm happy in that way. Now, what's a little bit weird about this is that from an outside observer, this isn't optimal at all, right? They both have half they like, they both have half they don't like. Presumably half of the cake would end up being thrown away, stuff like that there. So as an outside observer, right, as a neutral observer, we would look at everything 
And you probably would want to say that I cut right down the middle, right? So that then A can have the left side and B can have the right side. This is probably going to be a better way of dividing the cake. But that is not what we have for the divide and choose method because they're not working together in that scenario. So this is one thing there. It is envy free, right? In that original cutting, if you do it this way, the method will always make sure it's envy free. But in this sense of kind of the total happiness or something, this is not always an optimal solution. So let's also review and talk about the right three person last diminisher method. So this is the method we introduced last time again, but the rough idea is person A, B, and C, they kind of divide the cake up saying a third, right? So A makes a first cut, right? So A proposes this cut here. It's called last diminisher because after A goes, B and C have a chance to redo the cut. So person A makes this cut and they're proposing that they get this piece over here. Now the name diminisher, right, become, comes in because the cuts after this can only make things smaller. So B gets a chance. B gets a chance and says, wait, I think you're being greedy. That's too big of a cut. So I'm going to make this cut smaller. So B is now going to make this smaller and say, okay, this is, I'm saying this could be my one third piece there. I would be happy with this piece in this case. This isn't necessary. If may, maybe if A made this cut first, they would B and C would be okay with it, right? If this uniform cake, presumably C would say, okay, C would agree with this cut. C would say, I don't want to cut a smaller piece for myself. I think I'm okay with you taking that cut. It's smaller than A's cut. So A is already happy too. And then at this point, right, A and C would divide the right hand side of this here. So that would be using the divide and choose. So we would go back to that previous method there as well. So you can think of this, and this is a common thing in the game theory mathematics reducing the problem to a smaller size. So we have three people. The real question is how do we deal with that third person? Because once we give them a piece, we're down to two people. We've already dealt with that scenario. So let's look at this with a problem now. And the question here is saying that this is not NV free. We want to show how this is not NV free. But everyone still thinks that they have received one third of the value of the cake. Now, there is a challenge where you try to come up with an NV3 method for three people. We will leave that for a challenge still here. Let us know in the comments if you want hints or have ideas of that. But we'll focus on these first two methods here as well. And I will talk about kind of why it is still everyone's happy with the one third of the value of the cake in this scenario. Okay, so let's look here for answering this question at the following example. Let's go back to our apricot blueberry cake. We can use that here. And let's suppose that person A likes apricot and hates blueberry. So this is the same setup as before. Remember when we did the setup from before, we said they would cut the cake in half and then be happy with either the top or the bottom. But since there's three people, right, this is no longer kind of a third for person A. So we would need to modify this down a little bit, right, where it's kind of one in a third up of this thing there. And then person A is claiming this as their kind of bottom one third in this scenario. So this is kind of A is happy with their one third. And I just wanna pause for a moment here and say right off the bat that, let me put a check mark by this, 
they should be happy with this in terms of one third of the cake. So they got one third of the apricot, they got one third of the blueberry. So as far as they're concerned, they got one third of what they want. That's good enough. That's fair in their eyes. If everybody liked apricot and hated blueberry, this would be one third of the cake there. Now, let's go quickly through the kind of other things here. So, person B likes the top of the cake. So, would they be happy with A's cut? Sure, A claimed the bottom of the cake. B is totally happy with them taking the bottom portion of the cake there. So, they would not diminish the cut. Remember, step one is each person has a chance to make the cut smaller and claim it for themselves. Now, person C has no preferences. I tried to cut this nicely, so this is one third of the cake. So A gets this piece. A has their one third. They're happy on the surface with their one third. And now we go to the divide and choose method for the next portion here. So that's kind of what we have in this cake, in this case. So now let's move on to person B. Remember, B wants to divide this remaining portion into two equal pieces in their mind. So in person B mind, they like the top portion of the cake. So they want to make sure that when they divide it in two, they'll be okay with either half of it there. So the cut B would make then is cutting straight down. Right, Because B then is saying, okay, there's a left and a right. I only care about top. So this way there's an equal amount of top on either side. And this is fair to person C, right? So then maybe B takes one of the sides, right? B gets this side here, and then C will get the remaining side in this case. So let's go with these piece by piece then in this scenario, right? Is B happy with their piece in this case, right? So B likes the top. They actually got probably more than a top, right? So they're kind of actually very happy with their piece. C actually ends up with one third kind of directly in this case. So they think that they have one third of the cake there. But now we start to see a little bit of this inequality. So A and C, both in their minds, if everyone was like them, would each say, I have one third of the cake in that way. B would actually say that they're better off. B would say, I have a good piece in this scenario. Now, as of the moment, I've never mentioned anything about envious, right? B is not envious of the other pieces. He's happy. C is not envious of the other pieces. He's happy. What about A, right? And this is kind of the key for this here. If we talk about enviness in this scenario, we actually have that A will envy B in this scenario. Why? Because as far as B and C were concerned, when they divided that top of the cake, they weren't worried about apricots and blueberries at all. So it ended up that B took the portion of the top that was all apricot. And now all of a sudden B says, wait, I would much rather have B's piece, or sorry, A says, I would much rather have B's piece than my own piece. And that gives us some problems, and that's where this is not um, envy-free and stuff in this case. So that's what we would have, and this is not envy-free there. So as a challenge, you can think about ways to modify this, think about how that might work. Things do get more complicated there. So that's why we'll still leave that as a challenge for the moment. We will pick up with a new topic next week. If you liked this video, please take a moment, hit the like button, subscribe, give us a comment. All of those things help us out. Otherwise, stay tuned for that new video next time. And I hope everyone has a great 
weekend. Goodbye.